Welcome back to Salty Sunday. More Pokemon! Where that's right, it's Chris, player one, versus Dimitri, player two. They're gonna go all out with a rope and dope all over each other's faces. It's gonna be great. Sounds like me and Chris. I'm gonna use a magic card. <laughs> Wait, did you actually get a magic card? Oh my oh god. god. Random! Yeah. You did the same thing I did where you looked down like, what the fuck's that? I did that too. I did that too. <laughs> it's one of those things where you just don't know it. Thanks for playing for me! Thanks for playing with me! There's magic carps everywhere! Wee! How are you gonna know which one's yours, Chris? Yes. <laughs> and it's Gyarados! How are you, you gonna know which one's yours, Chris? You're Here's the question, are they catching them to eat them or are they just catching them in general? <laughs> yes. Can it be both? I think yours is actually does- I think magic card does damage! Uh-oh. We shall see. Uh-oh. Here we see round one, Chandelier versus Blaziken. <laughs> Here we see Chris <laughs> belting out his magical balls. Oh god. The beams. But will the dive kick be any match for a chandelier? We'll find out. Oh no, my god. He's got an anti-air. That's a decent anti-air attack right there. He knocked him up and spanked him down. Here we see him giving him a dose of the fire. Oh, and here we see some fiery kicks going into his face. That's right, his stupid chandelier face is getting cracked wide open with a deadly kick from a bird. Looks like they've reversed back to the phase shift. And here they go with Chris launching balls everywhere. Just balls for days. Laser beam drops him right into the combat phase. Here we go, Tekken style, bitches. And here we see the blaze can get yeah, knocked down. And yeah, yeah. Knocked fire! Because that anti air is actually really good, so I kept jumping into it. <laughs> Who will Dimitri Tech next? Let's find out. Who's going to fight the deadly chandelier next? Because as it stands right now, looks like Dimitri's been chandelured into a deadly trap. I picked the wrong damn Pokemon. I need you. I need to get to use my my magic. Here we see a fish fighting a dog. This <laughs> is a fish fighting a dog. dog. Looks like a bow and arrow chicken is going to be fighting this ball slinging chandelier, and they've been launched into the combat phase, the duel phase rather. And here they are, beating each other, swinging, swapping, swooping, swooping. Yep, and this bird is not taking any of this. He's getting knocked all over the place. In fact, dare I say, he's gone with the wind. And here we see him grab the bird, grab the chandelier rather, and knocking him senseless. Chris better make good use of that ultra, buddy, because he's certainly going to get beaten today if he doesn't shape up or ship out. Here we see it taking place. Oh, looks Wait, like what? a successful hit. I got him. Wow, that fucking range. Okay, then. The chandelier is about to beat some chicken wings out of this guy. Look at this. Oh, that damage. <laughs> he's down, but he's not out. Here we go, back into the fight. And it looks like, yep, indeed, the chicken just got uh, roasted, deep fried, by the chandelier. Start guarding. He's like, here's here with that. I only got one plus on it. Yeah, but you have two Chandler, more Pokemon. Chandler, my little buddy. I believe in you. Can't see you all bring it back? We'll find out. I've eaten a bite of a sandwich, so I sound like I have something in my mouth. <laughs> Here we go. Final chance with Dimitri. Final chance romance. Here we see the ball flying. Caesar taking a hit. Caesar's down, they're in the dual phase. Instead of taking some licks and he knocks out the chandelier, cracks him wide open. That murder mystery is no longer needing to be figured out. It was the scissor with the scissory claws on the beachfront. On the beachfront. <laughs> Who will? Oh, yep, it's Gardevoir, sexy lady of the Pokemon fanbase who everyone seems to draw very provocative crap about. She was the first one that really looked like a woman, so I mean... She was the first, like... So there's lots of porn woman. out there, folks. I guarantee you, if you Google Gardevoir... You're gonna don't Google it! Don't do it yourself! Don't do it yourself like that! Kids, don't turn off that safety search, otherwise you're about to see something you shouldn't. And here Magic God, God, bringing out Save fish. me! And the fish did something, I'm not entirely sure. But here we see Gardevoir just making some pretty... Oh, it's that he bounces! It. And the fish just came out of nowhere. God want me to bubble? Knock that scissor back. But here we go. What? Counters for days. Counters it's for days. It's a counter. Shield face initiated, but here comes the ultra mega super scissor. Oh, it looks like they're back to that dual phase. But can scissor do it? Here we go. No, he nope. cannot. He missed completely. And I'm dead. Don't matter. And the super attack is off. Uh -huh. And there goes that super. Seemed to do not much of anything. Caesar was taking a beating. Can he survive? He's got his ultra, his support ready, and so does, well, Chris. Magic card, save me! That's one hell of a show you can have, buddy. And here we go. Looks like, oh, yep, the fish and the dog are going to fight. Who's going to win when this floppy set of fish come flying around? Uh, 
Here come the blows. Just needs one more hit on either side to declare a champion. And it looks like it's Caesar. Caesar's going to the finals with a... Not much of anything health-wise. Yeah. Meanwhile, Gengar's gonna come in and tongue him to death. Pretty much. And eat that booty hole. Yep. Yeah. I already accepted that I lost this. I thought I was gonna lose with fucking Gardevoir. Hey. But okay. you fight, you made it to the finals, son. There's no shame in admitting that you made it to the finals. Even if you... You know... That's quite a big tongue-eating, dream-eating bastard. Voice by Danny DeVito. Hey, what you doing, kid? Here we see Gengar being a piece of shit and going into the ground and making a whirlpool, making fists, tongue Yeah, so it's like, oh, I'm gonna area affect you. I'm happy that Chris, that fucking Mike beat your ass with your gay Gengar. Yeah. No one cares. No one cares. And that's it for this time, folks. We'll see you next time on Salty, Salty Sunday.